What's going on everyone? It's Stranger here and welcome to another YouTube music production video where my mission is to help you succeed in making music. And in today's video, we're going to be doing the basics of a UK garage beat. Now before we get started, comment down below and let me know what is your favorite UK garage track. And let's get the likes to 1000 and I'll give you guys the project for free. And as always guys, if you want to keep receiving updates on future videos, then make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and share buttons. Now, UK Garage came about in the early 2000s. It's an evolution from Deep House when it moved over into the UK and then producers added more of a UK influence as well as more of a Jamaican influence with dance hall rhythms and even jungle bass lines. And one of the defining characteristics of UK Garage is its swing rhythm. There's a heavy human groove to the rhythm and a heavy emphasis on ghost hits. And I think the best way to describe it is just to show you guys. So let's get right into it. Okay, so I have some drums pre-selected here. Now with UK Garage, I like a nice boomy kick with a nice attack. So something tight like this. Now I have a selection of snares that we can play with. Now some of these will be used as the main snare and the others may be used as a ghost hit. And these are all nice and tight snares. I just like the sound of short and tight snares of UK Garage. You can try other snares and even claps as well. And then I have a basic closed and open hi-hat. They're 909 hi-hats, typical for house music. And then I'll just start with the basics. So I'm just gonna put a quarter note kick, just like house music, like this. And the tempo of UK Garage can range between 120 beats per minute and as fast as 140 beats per minute. We're gonna choose something in between 130 beats per minute. It gives us a nice energy to it. Now I'm gonna go into my snare section and then I'm gonna add a snare on Beat two and four, like that. Okay, now going back to the kick, commonly with UK Garage, we remove the kick in the beat two and four, like that. And then we could then shift the second kick one eighth note over, so like that. So now we have what we call a two-step rhythm. Now going back into the snare, we can add a shuffle. So using some of the other snares, we can create kind of a funk shuffle using the ghost note positions, such as here and here. Now we can play with the snare and try maybe the other snares, maybe this one. And we can perhaps shorten the note, make it tighter. Now I'm going to go into the hi-hat and I'm going to use a basic closed open hi-hat pattern just like in house music. So close and open like that. Now as I mentioned earlier, one of the defining characteristics of UK Garage is its swing rhythm. And essentially what a swing rhythm is, is a humanization of a rhythm. So when a computer or robot plays a rhythm, it plays it straight. So every single note is exactly the same. However, when a human plays a note, there's fluctuations with the rhythm. So it's not an exact robotic rhythm. There's a groove to it. Some notes may be a bit delayed or some notes can come earlier. So with Ableton, we have what we call groove profiles, which add a human swing to your rhythm. So over in the clip section here, we have what's called a groove section. Now if we hit the hot swap button here, we then bring up a library of Ableton's different grooves. Now there's hip hop grooves, Latin grooves, there's groove extracted from the MPC drum machine. There's even grooves for rock. Now this Latin rhythms are cool. They have a nice swing based on how they would play Latin percussion. And we have this visual representation as well. It's played by a basic clap sound. So you can hear what that swing would sound like when it would be applied to your rhythm. 
Now I'm gonna go into the MPC section. Now they have eighth note swings and then 16th note swings. Now since we're working with the 16th note ghost hits, then we're gonna choose one of these MPC 16 swings. Now, as the number increases, the more intense the swing. So I'm gonna grab a couple here. So I'm gonna choose number 75 and we bring it down here to the groove pool. I'm gonna choose 70 and also 65. Over here on the drop down under the groove section, notice now the grooves that we selected up here in the drop down. Now, if we I choose one of them, that swing will then be applied to our rhythm. So let's listen. So notice now there's a bit of more groove with the ghost hits here. Now there's this commit button and it's not necessary to hit commit, but what happens when you hit commit is that it shows you where the note is actually placed. So when you click it, yeah, notice the note has been moved across here. Now, based on the groove profile, it even shortens some of the notes. Now that may be desirable, but if not, you can lengthen them again. Maybe lengthen it just a little. So notice how the ghost snares are off the grid now based on that groove. Now I'm gonna go into my hi-hat section and we can add some additional 16th note ghost notes. So switch over to the 16th note view and maybe add a close hi-hat here, maybe one here and maybe here. Now notice that everything is off because we haven't applied the groove to this hi-hat now. So we're gonna choose groove 75. Now you could try the other ones, but it would sound more consistent and cleaner if you choose the same swing. So now that UK garage groove is starting to really come out now, thanks to the swing. Now you can take it a bit further. You can add additional percussion such as tambourines and whatnot to really play with the ghost notes and really bring that rhythm out. But this is sounding really good as a basic UK garage rhythm. Now from here, we can add a bass line. So I'm gonna pull out Massive X. Now we're gonna be creating a bass line based on the UK Garage remix of Sia's Little Man, which is a UK Garage classic. Now that bass sound in that song is pretty much the old school bulb bass that I showed you guys in a previous video. So if you haven't seen that yet, I encourage you guys to watch that. But basically we're gonna create a basic old school bulb bass here. So it's a square wave. <laughs> And then we're gonna bring the cutoff filter down and then apply an envelope to the filter and then increase the modulation amount. And then you may want to play with the decay of the envelope. Now you're gonna to have to increase the resonance to really make it sound bulby for lack of better terms. And then adjust the frequency to taste. Okay, that's sounding good. Okay, so let's create a clip and then I'm gonna play with a two bar clip. Now what's common with UK Garage is the use of the dotted eighth note. Now we have talked about the dotted eighth note in previous videos. Now if this was a regular eighth note, then to make it a dotted eighth note, we just increase this by half of that note. So now this is a dotted eighth note. And then we're gonna play with a melody here. So that, and then maybe like that. Maybe shorten these guys a little, maybe make these guys a bit longer. All right, so we have a nice groove here. I just want to mention over in the kick section, we could add ghost notes as well. For example, we could add a ghost hit here possibly even here. Now make sure your swing is on. It's really up to you. There's a wide variety of choices in which ghost hits you use and which drum hits you use for those positions. And I encourage you guys to 
really explore these rhythms within UK Garage. Now, this groove is sounding really good. We have some drums and we have some bass. And to add another dimension, we can add another musical sound, such as an organ, which is used a lot in UK Garage, actually. And in Ableton, we have some really great organ sounds. So under the packs, you can find a bunch of organs here. These are for free if you have the Ableton Suite. And under electric pianos, this funk shimmer one sounds real nice. So we'll just copy that over here. And then we can copy the bass clip over into the organ section. And now we'll have the organ play in unison with the bass. Now we'll just go into EQ and just remove some of that low end for the organ so it doesn't confuse the bass. Now it definitely sounds good playing in unison and it definitely is a great choice when composing a track. However, to add a little more dimension, we can build a chord from these bass notes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these notes and then I'm going to copy it over so we're building a minor triad from G. So a minor triad is including an A sharp and then a D. So the three notes are so that ba ba ba. I would really recommend that you guys learn that interval of notes because that builds the minor triad which is used a lot. Now I just found a chord for these two sounded a bit off and I found that if you shifted these down it sounded more like a UK garage vibe. Now I'm not sure what this chord is called. I think it's a diminished minor. For those of you with a little more music theory background let me know what this chord is called in the comments. <laughs> I just found that a lot more groovier. Now we can play with the length of the notes and we can make them shorter like this. Now we could also play with the octave. We can shift it up. Now we may want to bring the volume down just a tad. Now these chords are still playing in unison with the bass. However, what's cool is we can syncopate the notes. So it plays on a counter rhythm with the bass. So if we select the notes and then move it an eighth note over like that, then we have more of a counter rhythm. Now we may have to move some of the notes over so it's more in sync. So I'll move these guys over and then maybe make a copy like this here. Like that. Now I'm just going to remove these ghost hits from the kick. I think I'm preferring it like that instead. So we have a nice groove here with the organ funk and really adds a nice syncopation to the rhythm when we shift it over. Now from here you can add additional musical elements like strings, pianos, and other synth sounds. And you can even add a live singer, have some verses, or you can cut up some vocals if you prefer that. So I actually have a nice vocal that I found under Splice. It's from the Cara pack. I've been thinking about you. I've been thinking about you. Now I'm just going to bring this over to the arrangement view and then cut it up. So I'm going to take the second phrase here and then I'm going to duplicate the first phrase a couple times like that. I've been thinking, I've been thinking, I've been thinking about you. And then I'm just going to consolidate it as one clip and then I'll bring it back into the arrangement view. Now the vocal is playing an E minor while well, our song is written in G minor. So we're going to have to shift the vocal three notes up so it's more in sync. So I'm going to go in here, loop it, and we're going to transpose it three notes up. 
Now we're going to have to adjust the algorithm, which corrects the pitching and stretching of the sample. So Complex Pro, I just find sounds smoother when we're stretching out the sample. And then you can play with the format. It's just how the texture and tonality sounds when it's stretched out. I'm going to bring it down. Now I'm liking that, now I'm going to add some EQing and a bit of echo to the vocal. So I'm going to pull echo here and bring it down. Okay, that's sounding awesome. We have a nice groove here with some music. Now we can do a quick sequence here in the arrangements. So I'll copy the scene here and we'll paste it into the arrangement view. Now with UK Garage, a lot of it is written in a more pop music format, so shorter structures. So we might have like an eight bar sequence like this, and then we'll duplicate this block a couple times. Now I'll take out the vocal on the first block, and then I'll remove the organ on the second block, and then I reintroduce both the vocal and organ together on the third block. Now, I'll just also introduce a pause before each section. So I'll remove the drums here, here, and here. And then let's add a drum roll at the end of the phrase here. So I kind of like the triplet sound. So and we're going to use triplets here. And then I'll just copy this for the snare. Okay, so now let's listen to what we have here. Alright, so we have a pretty awesome UK Garage song in the works here. And as you can see, the real power is in adding swing to that rhythm. It really gives that character for that UK Garage vibe. Now, once you have the groove down, you can add a selection of different bass sounds. You can try drum and bass sounds as well, such as rolling bass sounds sound good with UK Garage. And then there's a variety of different musical sounds that you can add, such as deep house chords and things like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys found this helpful. And if you did, make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and share button. It really helped my channel out. So that's pretty much it for today, guys. Thanks again for watching. Keep practicing, and I'll see you at the next video.